All right, and the recording is running. So welcome to the KCP community meeting on this very rainy day, at least around here. Um, so before we get started, this is a CNCF uh, project meeting. So that means it's governed by the CNCF code of conduct, which boils down to let's be excellent to each other. Um, with that on the way, um, our like kind of point zero on the agenda. We, I think we have a couple new faces. Is anyone interested in introducing themselves? I mean, I can say a couple of words. I'm guessing I'm one of the new faces. Uh, the rest of you guys know each other already, I assume. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Simon. Uh, I'm interested in working uh, with KCP or I have been working with KCP. I should point out I also work with Marvin and uh, Sebastian at uh, QRmatic. Yeah, and hopefully I also will be contributing a bit to KCP in the coming months. So happy to be here uh, and see what's uh, going on, what's the latest news in KCP. Thanks for having me. All right, great. Thank you very much, Simon. Uh, Robert, you want to uh, so, uh Andre, who just joined uh, the meeting, and I, we are joining from Clyso, and I think as a part of SAP project to contribute to KCP. Uh, me personally, I didn't really have uh, a chance to to work with the project or on the project also, so this will be a fresh start for me. We already met with. Uh, uh, MJ, I'm sorry, MJ, for uh, I would probably butch for your name, uh, but uh, yeah, we will be starting soon, and it's really cool to to be joining you guys. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, um, Hans. All right, and any any further introductions? Uh, yeah, I can like uh, get a follow up uh, in a short. Yeah, as Robert been mentioning, we are working together in Clyso. We are looking forward to cooperate and uh, do something fantastic with KCP. So hopefully, it will be done. Thank you. All right, great. Thank you very much, and welcome. Uh, great to see some new faces around here. Um, all right, we don't have many topics on the agenda, so maybe, MJ, why don't we get started with your topic? I can bring it up on screen. Um, and that this is uh, one of the efforts to try to revive the enhancement uh, repository too. And I think this one of the enhancements already aging like a good wine. So uh, it would be good to get some inputs because i would like to get it merged and because i have a lot of code in my private fork for this to potentially be upstreamed like a status setting part potentially the basic mount point implementation things like that but i'm kind of reluctant to merge more code before we agree of the reference being merged basically here All right, that makes total sense to me. Um, I also wanted to take another look and I forgot, sorry about that. Um, so I'll also tell you, I'll add it to my, let's see, it's even saying here. Um, yep, yep. So I'll take a look. Just, just don't look when you press this, but press this button. Come again? Assigning self review, just don't don't look when you ask for this. <laughs> so it's, it's aged like a good wine. Yeah, it's it's been a while. It's been a while. Ah, I see. <laughs> um all right. I think uh, if anyone else is interested in mounts, um this is I think the document to read about it. Um, and then I, I think it makes sense to review this soon, hopefully this time really. Um, and then, you know, 
move on with it because yeah, it seems to be a very valuable tool in the toolbox when you want to use KCP. Okay. I think that's already it from the topic. I have one for the I have one topic. I mean when you celebrate new release from KK, uh, KCP, hooray. Uh, I think MJ you you released or Yep, yep. Published document this morning, released yesterday, which is, I would say, as we discussed this in a chat already, the rebase was so smooth, we were sitting and thinking, what's wrong? Uh, I only realized one small thing, uh, if you go to GitHub, uh, uh, currently there, release candidate is uh on top and not the uh oh no no can you go to releases yeah i thought is that it's a good one I, I don't know why because it's in draft status but the latest one is a below one yeah exactly this is what i mean uh, i'm not sure why the uh, rc is uh, uh on top and the other one is below i don't know why uh so this is only what we maintain as C, so all good to everyone else. I think this is the view. No, I see AMC. that too. Ah, this okay. is when I'm not logged in. Yeah, you're, you're a maintainer, MJ. Ah, OK, OK. <laughs> ah, OK, yeah, that makes sense, potentially. Oh, today I learned so something we, new. OK. We can probably delete the draft release, I guess, or we can, I mean, yeah, I think it makes sense to, to delete it. Um, but not urgent, not urgent. But yeah, I think it's just because we have we see the drafts and they are pinned to the top. Yeah, okay. makes sense. Just parse this. It's gone. Great. Yep. But yeah, um, pretty cool. Uh, I, I guess <laughs> I, I suffered through the one hundred thirty rebase, so MJ could walk. <laughs> okay. Yes. But I'm glad to hear this. Yeah, I think it's uh, next one should be if upstream doesn't do something crazy, I think it should be even easier. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, where does 1.32 stand? Is it alpha or betas? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but if anyone wants to pick this up as a learning experience, um they could i guess maybe look at if it makes sense to start the process early um just to get a feeling for it and see like what the major changes would be um before yeah, the final release hits that's an alpha one no. okay it's alpha that that's maybe a little bit early yeah so yeah but yeah so this is great um, the performance improvements, I think I didn't look at our monitoring data again, but they are very visible uh, from metrics. So Stefan did some great work here. Um, and there's a, there's a PR open to bump the hand chart, uh, if you have a second to look at it, MJ. Cool, we'll do after call. All right, cool. Um, then we don't have any like specific topics, so I would like to open the floor. Um, is there anything that you have at hoc that you would like to discuss? Yeah, MJ. So we we talked a bit in a different forum that we have a, quite a few new members, and I was thinking to do a quick improvised like walkthrough for the KCP itself, like how it's from startup to like how it looks in a sharded model, things like that, basically. Don't expect huge presentations and slides and fireworks, but just something basic one. So I think I'm just going to send the invite, maybe post in, I don't know how to better organize it, either post it to main group, main chat, and basically everybody who votes with emojis, so just invite them or send to the users list, how it's, how it's better to organize something like that. 
I'm not sure how actively they maintain the user list is or not. Uh, I think the Slack is, uh, I think more people are looking into the Slack than the user list, though. OK, so emoji voting in a Slack, it is. I mean, I would propose that we uh, uh, um, proposing it on, on Slack and in best case uh, record it uh, so that we can later publishes on YouTube and potentially then republish on uh, Slack and potentially putting it somewhere in our documentation also. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like, and we could we could potentially just piggyback on the next two weeks community meeting because we've been working quite well, but like well old mach well oiled machine, and these meetings are becoming more of the networking events. I mean, I, I think that would be perfectly fine. I don't expect that in two weeks we suddenly would have like a huge agenda. So if you want to take the time, I think that that would be fine. And that way, you know, everyone who's interested already has the invite. Um, okay. We can maybe update the event. That's not sure if that's an option saying, hey, this is going to have like a special session that's introducing KCP. Um, that would also reach the people subscribed to the email lists. So if you also put it on Slack, we have like maximum reach, I guess. OK, let me do that. Well, let's do that in the two weeks this way. I have time to prepare and we basically use the time wise. OK, so so not not next uh, community meeting, right? No, I mean next. It's, we do it two weeks, right? Yeah. So in two weeks. OK. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Um, anything to add there? No, let's just take it offline and take it from there. All right, great. Uh, then thank you for, for doing this, MJ. Uh, I think it kind of fits into what I've been thinking about, so I can just add it. Um, I think it would be maybe nice to write a blog post as well um there so so basically okay using kcp in 2024 because i think a lot of the material out there is still um like there were some blog posts like a couple of years back right about kcp and these are still the things that you find when you look for kcp and they focus a lot on tmc um so maybe it would be nice to produce some more like other introduction material that kind of reflects better of where KCP stands these days. Um, so I think maybe MJ, after your session, maybe it makes sense that I don't know. I I review that and see if like we can maybe translate some of that into a blog post. Yeah, well. it sounds sounds good. To be honest, I was thinking about similar ideas. Like it's a in general the gen control planes topic is a very poorly distributed and documented. I mean, uh, quick, quick question, but, but currently we only have really one longer blog post, or? at least on the website, or do I miss something? No, that's true. We don't have that many blog posts. Um, I would also, this is a good point, we can also add this here. I would like to continue the tradition of having a program for KubeCons. Um, so I think I would need to draft that for uh, for Salt Lake City, and I guess soon, because it's not that long until Salt Lake City. Um, it's a month, literally a month. So it would make sense to put that out as soon as possible. So um, I can write that if anyone else is up for it. I don't mind either. It's not a long blog post. It's just. A list of what's going on, basically. Now, if you if you kick off some like Google Doc for that uh, KCP in twenty twenty four, if you share it, we could start putting some ideas to which might help to draft the presentation too for the next community one. Yep, I think that makes sense. 
Okay, there was something else on my mind, but I think it just slipped it. Ah, yeah, generic control planes. Uh, since generic control planes aren't necessarily a KCP topic, it might also be interesting to uh, to approach Zig. I think it's Zig Docs that's responsible for the Kubernetes block, and maybe write something there um, in cooperation with them. Just talk about generic control planes, why they're useful, how they are implemented now. Um, since that's not a KCP topic, it's a Kubernetes topic, kind of. Um, that would be an idea, maybe. Yeah. I think we, we need to write it first and after that approach them. <laughs> We would need to have a better idea of what we want to write for sure. Okay, lots of blog posts. <laughs> um, okay, any any further topics? Any further things that you would like to discuss? Stefan, anything from your side? Join a bit late. Nothing for me. No. Did, we had a conversation, I think, a few weeks ago that now the generic control plane is merged. We, you wanted to move it to the standalone repo in the upstream. And it's like ka.io slash generic control plane or something like that. Yeah, there's a in this cap about uh, general control plan, we promise a staging repository. So we yeah. have to start a conversation there. So this will be a big move, not one move, many moves of, of packages, renames. So everything is in place in, in Cube uh, for the stuff, but it's just not at the right place. Do you think we kind of we kind of did it in place basically without uh, producing too much noise. Is it worth trying to get it now or wait until Salt Lake City face to face and try to agree with stakeholders? I mean, we, there? We, we could start a conversation by starting a doc, basically proposing something. That's maybe what we can do anytime. And do you mean doing the that? work, yeah, doing the work really, like the, the movements. Trees uh, is, I think, beginning of November before KubeCon. So it would have to be done there, and I don't have the time, I think. I think that's... Yeah. But do you think Probably we need a document for that? Like, a... I would start with a simple, uh, a simple Google Doc. Just list uh, the package names or the structure we want, get oh, feedback okay. through the SIG. And we can update the cap if we want after having consensus. I wouldn't do it in the cap. The so if you have time and uh, opinions, and I bet you have, just try it. Like write something down. Yeah, I'm. And I might see. like there is still a bit of. There is a lot of limitations on that side on the like aggregator server and everything. Basically, generic control plane is now single flavor control plane. But I think that's maybe enough for the staging repository. We don't need to have this full-fledged Lego like, building blocks. Yeah. There's always more work we can do, of course, to make it more flexible. But we can start the move. At least this discussion now. Yeah. And it gives okay, more I... visibility when we do that. It's noise for people who have to change the, the imports, but <laughs> also with... okay, I can try to look into that because I've been moving code around in that my staging repos. Cool, cool. So we'll take that on to kick off some skeleton. All right. Do we have any other topic? 
And then just one quick thought that I had, and maybe this is actually something I'm not sure if we can do polls on uh, on Slack in the Kubernetes Slack, but I was wondering if the timing of the community meeting was good or if there are people who can't attend because it's outside of the time zone. Uh, we haven't had a lot of US attendance, I think. Um, so I wonder if maybe thinking about a new time slot makes sense for maybe people, uh, for example, from India, for which this is, I think, a little late. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll then check if we can do polls, if there's, you know, people out there who would like to attend, but they simply can't. Um, it's just a thought. Good. No, good idea. It's been a long time we've seen our friends from a chip manufacturing company. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe kick it off something with emoji voting, yay, no yay. And if if a lot of people says, yeah, we would like to join, it's inconvenient. We can find a new time slot. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll see. Wait, let me write this down. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at that. Um, let's see if anything comes out of it. And then we'll see. Okay, any further topics? All right, great. Ben, thank you very much for attending. Uh, and have a great Thursday afternoon, evening, wherever you are. So see you soon. Bye-bye. See you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.